Hello everybody and welcome to our second movie of Intune. Today we are going to discuss the administration workspace. We go to the administration tab. In the administration overview we see our account details. On the right we have a link to view the service status of the Intune service. This will lead you to a web page where you can see the current status of the Intune service. As you can see, our account is located in the US East Coast 1. The service is running normally, and at the bottom of the page you can see what the status history of the service is. Now we are going to look at the updates configuration within the administration workspace. First stop is selecting our product categories. Now I just choose the different categories that are interesting for my environment. After choosing all the categories, I just press the save button to save my settings. Now we're going to choose the update classifications. I choose all the classifications I need and I press the save button again to save my settings. And finally, I'm going to make an automatic approval rule that will automatically approve all the security updates for my environment. I give the rule a name, all security updates, next. I choose the categories for which I want it automatically approved. I choose the classifications, only the security updates, next. I do this for all the computers in my environment and my first rule has been created. I save the rule. And the first time I need to press run selected so that the rule has been processed through all the available updates at this moment. The next thing we are going to configure are the alerts and notifications. We'll start by looking at the alert types. In this window you see all the alert types that are available in Windows Intune. Some of them are enabled, others are disabled. We are going to choose one, the logical disk availability for a Windows XP computer, and we are going to enable this alert. Here we go, it is enabled. Next are the recipients. Recipients are the people that can receive the different alerts. We are going to create a new one, Mike Ressler. We are going to add my email address in it. This can be any email address. We're going to confirm the email address. Then choose the language in which we want to get our emails. And finally, we're going to press OK to save the new recipient. We still can edit this user or even delete if we want to. Next are the notification rules. There are five different notification rules where we can add recipients to so that they receive the emails of the alerts that are arriving in our infrastructure. For example, we take the all critical alerts, select the recipients and we see over there that Rory of our company received those alerts. Next is the administration management. In this place we can add or delete administrators that have access to the Intune administrator console, the one you are looking at. So I'm going to add myself. Remember this needs to be a live ID. So now we have a new administrator. We can also delete them if we want to. Finally we're going to download the client software. There are two types of software x86 and x64. If we download them and spread them out through our environment with our favorite deployment tool, we can start monitoring the different computers. That's it for today. Our next movie will be about the computer's workspace.